Here we are again in beautiful downtown Stafford Springs, still celebrating the 139th anniversary of this beautiful village. And we're looking at what was called the Old Hudson Garage. It's a big, beautiful building with slate roof. Uh, at one time, the show is on it now, and as a matter of fact, they did years ago, windows. Uh, a lot of interesting history in every building on Main Street, but uh, just to refer to a couple of little incidents with this store. It was a garage at one time, and in fact, sold gasoline as well, and it had all glass windows in front. But one day, all the windows blew out on the sidewalk from the inside. And I know the Pachota men, boys then, we're having some sort of a ruckus, but uh, you better ask them about the story, the rest of that story. Which reminds me of another story. Another one of the wild things. It seems as though they had an old Renault, and they crashed it into a small cube and took it up on, I guess, West Main Street, uh, where there was a Chevy dealer, and they let the newspaper know, know there were several people squashed inside it. Uh, today we'd like to look at some of the pictures that are on this billboard beside the old Hudson garage. And we'll go over and we'll speak about each one separately. This is the Johnson Memorial Hospital, built about, well, I think, in 1912. And uh, money was given by Cyril Johnson, who owned the a mill in the center of Stafford Springs, the one closest to the uh, Stafford Savings Bank. In 1957, they built an addition on the back. It is now used for apartments. Mm -hmm. Here's a picture of the Stafford Springs Hotel, a little different view. We're standing <clears throat> on the eastern side looking west, and the hotel faces uh, what is now, I believe it's Extramart, the little gas station by the uh, River. Here we mentioned uh, a couple weeks ago, or last week, the Christopher Allen Bridge, and, uh, the Stafford Library behind it, which was once Julius Converse's office. The Stafford Savings Bank, built in the 20s, right beside Johnson's Mill, which is on the right, and on the left-hand side would be the Congregation Church. This is a uh, picture of. Woodlawn Julius Converse's home at Hyde Park. Uh, I think if you look carefully, you can still see today some of the paths from the front. Up on the right, there was a gazebo on that hill which fell down in 1938 hurricane. The pool in front does not look familiar to me, although there was a small wading pool in that general area where the tennis courts are at one time. Stafford Fairgrounds where they had sulky races, uh, very famous, had Tallinn uh, Agricultural Fair here. Um, the trolley stopped in front of this facility and has grown of course now into Stafford Raceway. Before this was built we had uh, sulky races on Main Street and the sulkies would drive around the monument in Haymarket Square. Those last six pictures were all painted by Pat Morris, who is one of the famous artists we have in town and perhaps more famous for her uh, pet portraits. I saw in the paper recently that she had an art show in some hospital in Massachusetts. This little office was the uh, office for the gas station that was where we are standing. This building is in Stafford Hollow, Memorial Hall. It was built in 1867 by some so-called spiritualists. Um, it has its uh, own funds, although Stafford may have contributed to it, recently painted, and uh, events are still held there. The uh, porch in the front of the gateway, of course, is missing at this time, but a beautiful little building. This is the same village of Stafford, or known as Stafford Hollow. The yellow building was the hotel that was there, where uh, just below what we call Cannon Hill, 
the hill behind it. To the left, the white building with the porches is the Mill Pond store. Uh, to the far right, the brown building is the post office and the Grange. The building in the center, uh, where Patton Road goes uh, east, is no longer there, but you can see the stone wall that supports it. This is the gateway to uh, Stafford Fair. Uh, must have been before the trolley because the trolley tracks went near here. This is about where the trolley stopped. Uh, people came from all over New England to this fair. Uh, when I leave Worcester and come to Stafford, often take Stafford Street, which goes over Dead Horse Hill. And I can't help but think that uh, that was named Stafford Road simply because many people knew Stafford and came to our fair. Most of you recognize this as the our fountain in Haymarket Square, memorial to uh, Charles Holt. His daughter left this in memory of Charles Holt. Charles Holt lived on uh, the corner of Grant Avenue and East Main Street in the stone and blue house and this fountain serviced uh, uh, dogs and horses and it was demolished at one time with an accident but has been replicated and replaced. It's a picture of what we call the Baker Block that was uh, just east of the Colt Monument which you see in the foreground. It must be sometime after 1912 because the trolley is shown there the uh, large building, which was the bank behind the trolley, uh, of course, is now a parking lot. But if you go to the blue building to the left of that, you can notice that that was Charlie Stevens' hardware store, now a tattoo parlor. And the brick building was torn down. It was over Furnace Brook. The... Uh, Baker Furniture Store, which was only one store in the large uh, building on the right, burned down in 1919. This is a picture of the Mineral Springs. I'm not sure what the building in the back was, but of course at one time there was a bathhouse there where people bathed in the mineral water. My quiz question for this week concerns the Stafford Springs Hotel. And the question is, when did it burn? The answer to last week's question, which was, the question was, uh, when did the Stafford Historical Society begin? And the answer is 1962.